Alright, so I'm going to demonstrate how to sex boa constrictors. There are a few different methods. You can pop them, which I don't recommend for boa constrictors. It's more suited to ball pythons. You can probe them as well. But we use a method where you just feel for the hemipenes, and it is the least invasive method, which is a lot nicer for your snakes. So, here is Mugwai, my male. He is a lipstick sun glow motley. Let's see if he cooperates. All right, so, you wanna get a good grip on them, flip them upside down. There is his friend. Sorry about the poor video quality. This is on my MacBook. Anyway, so here he is upside down. Put your pointer finger under his tail and your thumb on the vent. And then apply gentle pressure and just slowly work your fingers back along the tail. In the males, about halfway down, you will feel a little bump, and that's where the hemipenes end. So, just do this a few times. Gentle pressure, and work your fingers back down along the tail, and you'll feel that small bump. And again, it's right about there. And then the rest of the tail will almost feel empty in comparison. So, one more time, just gently down the back. There's the bump. It's almost like a little speed bump that's in there. And then if you find that he's resisting, just maybe like hang on to him, let him relax and everything, and then just try again. But the bump is what you are looking for. Sun glow that we produced in March. It's a lot smaller. So same thing. Turn her upside down. Point your finger underneath. Thumb on top of the vent, and just apply gentle pressure and work your way down the tail. So there's no bump at all, and the entire uh, back of the tail from the vent down feels almost empty in comparison to the male. There's nothing there. Alright, so that's that. If you are sexing your first litter of babies and you get a few females that you do first, you might be a little bit confused, you don't really know, did you feel a bump, maybe you didn't. Um, once you get a male in there and you can feel the bump in comparison, then it's super easy. Um, it's Super easy on the snakes, doesn't stress them out. And just double and triple check. Tyler and I, one of us will sex the snakes and then the other one will do it and then we will check again just to be sure. But once you have a male beside a female for comparison, it's super easy. Yeah, there you go. I hope that helps.